राइट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट सूडो बल्बर पॉलिसी एंड बल्बर पॉलिसी राइट बट बिफोर वी रियली गो टू डिटेल ऑफ वट इज सूडो बल्बर पॉलिसी एंड बल्बर पॉलिसी वी मस्ट नो वट इज बल्बर सिस्टम वट इज बल्बर सिस्टम बिकॉज सूडो बल्बर पॉलिसी और बल्बर पॉलिसी इज बेसिकली पॉलिसी ऑफ बल्बर सिस्टम सो वट इज बल्बर सिस्टम राधर द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन शुड बी वट इज बल्ब इन सेंट्रल नवर सिस्टम मेडल्ला इज कॉल्ड बल्ब राइट सो लेट मी ड्रॉ द बल्बर सिस्टम एंड देन वी विल सी दैट वाई दर इज अ पॉलिसी ऑफ बल्बर सिस्टम एक्चुअली लेट मी ड्रॉ बेसिक डायग्राम ऑफ सेंट्रल नवर सिस्टम हियर इज योर मिड ब्रेन एंड पॉन्स एंड मेडल्ला Here is your uh, cerebral cortex, right? Now, to understand the bulbar system, first of all, we should understand what are bulbar nerves. Bulbar nerves are those nerves which are related with the medulla oblongata, which are coming out of medulla. Is that right? So the nerves. the bulbar nerves actually that is ninth nerve cranial nerve 10th cranial nerve 11th cranial nerve and 12th cranial nerve it it means in a strict sense in a very strict sense bulbar nerves means the bulbs which are uh, the nerves which are coming out of bulb right so i will make a simple diagram here that the nerves which are coming out right ninth 10th 11th and 12th now the ninth nerve it is glosso pharyngeal and you should not write nine like this it should be uh, written roman right ninth nerve and then other nerve which is coming out is 10th nerve and then there is 11th nerve and then there is 12th nerve right now in bulbar palsy or pseudo bulbar palsy the problem is with the motor component of bulbar nerves because these nerves have motor components for example ninth nerve has motor component as well as sensory component 10th nerve has motor component as well as sensory component so what i'm talking about when we are talking about palsy we are going to talk about the dysfunction of the motor component or motor function of the bulbar nerves due to one or the other reason the motor component of the bulbar nerve is not functioning it means motor component of glossopharyngeal nerve or vagus nerve or accessory nerve to be more specific cranial part of accessory nerve and hypoglossal nerve that is for one or the other reason not working properly either its higher control is lost or itself the system is these nerves are damaged now i will focus only on their motor components right when we talk about the motor component the nuclei right motor nuclei which contribute to these nerves first of all you must know nucleus ambiguus the medulla is a very important nucleus that is called nucleus ambiguous and this nucleus ambiguous right i'm putting it here in the diagram this is nucleus ambiguous now nucleus ambiguous is a motor nucleus right and fibers from nucleus ambiguous go to the ninth nerve from the nucleus ambiguous fibers also go to the tenth nerve and from the nucleus ambiguous fiber also go to the cranial part of 11th nerve right cranial part of 11th nerve and this cranial part of 11th nerve right this later on fuses with the 10th nerve this is cranial part of 11th nerve it means nucleus ambiguous i will repeat ambiguous nucleus 
ambiguous i think in the beginning doctors were really neurologists confused what it is rather than putting a funny name they say we are very confused it looks very ambiguous so this name is nucleus ambiguous so the nucleus ambiguous has brachiomotor fiber right brachiomotor fiber going to the ninth nerve 10th nerve and cranial part of 11th nerve we will not talk about spinal and then there is hypoglossal nucleus here and hypoglossal nucleus fibers from the hypoglossal nucleus they are going to yes hypoglossal, hypoglossal nerve very good that is hypoglossal nerve am i clear up to this yes now these are basically this is called what i'm showing in this diagram mot bulbar motor outflow bulbar motor outflow now we have to see these bulbar motor outflow what structure that is supplying what muscle that is supplying because once this motor outflow will be disturbed either it is disturbed itself or its upper control is disturbed right if this motor outflow is disturbed problem may be with the control of this bulbar outflow upper control which is upper motor neuron controlling the these nuclei or problem may be with the nerves itself in both cases the muscles which are innervated by the bulbar nerves those muscles will dysfunction those muscles will dysfunction is that right they will not function properly now so we must be very clear which are the muscles which are supplied by these nerves right let me make a diagram here here is your beautiful face here is your tongue and here is what larynx very good this is larynx and here should come your you do have beautiful eye also i suppose and okay now i think you recognize these structures i hope right yes do you recognize it is a male or female you don't recognize <laughs> actually you should be intelligent enough to recognize male and female from the face only you don't need uh, more anatomical detail right anyway uh, i will just put little bit eyelashes long eyelashes right and uh, okay now you can understand okay anyway so the, this is your nasal cavity this is pharynx oral cavity and larynx right and in the larynx of course here is epi glottis also and this is your pharynx right now what we need to understand i will give a different color the important muscles which are in this area and supplied by the bulbar system it means supplied by the bulbar nerves right these are pharyngeal muscles right i'm just putting this is pharyngeal muscles right it's a very simple diagram and then there is yes what is this soft palate muscles related with the uvula and muscles related with the larynx muscles which move the especially vocal cords laryngeal muscles so i will show it here that there are this is epiglottis of course so what are the structures which are supplied by bulbar nerves pharynx larynx okay start from below what is this larynx pharynx soft palate and of course don't forget your beautiful tongue i will not use any other word so you don't get excited it is just a beautiful tongue okay and right now bulbar nerves basically supply this musculature right so ninth nerve for example it supplies in the pharynx which muscle stylopharyngeus right and here it was 10th nerve and 10th nerve outflow along with which part of the 11th cranial part of 11th right both of them together they supply yes now this is 10th nerve i will make it a different color so that uh, 
you don't get confused because tenth nerve really supplies very extensively. So ninth nerve has supplied here a muscle, one laryngeal muscle just on each each side that is stylopharyngeus. Very good, stylopharyngeus. But tenth nerve itself and which part? Cranial part of eleventh. They together, right? Together they supply the yes pharynx. Many muscles in the pharynx. They supply the many muscles in larynx. They supply many muscles in pharynx and also they supply the what is this? Many muscles of soft palate. Is that right? So what did we learn? That ninth nerve and tenth nerve together, ninth, ninth and tenth and eleventh, they are supplying larynx, pharynx, and soft palate. And of course, then your beautiful twelfth nerve, hypoglossal nerve. This is approaching where tongue and supplying the tongue, hypoglossal nerve. Am I clear? Now, what really happens?